STLC, Software Testing Lifecycle. As you remember, in previous slides, we have the diagram of the software development lifecycle. And there exists the testing stage. So, what is inside of the testing stage? Let's try to identify. If we want to test software, we need to know how the test stages are set, yes, and what is inside of our QA workflow. So, uh, software testing lifecycle consists of test planning, test design, test execution, defect reporting, and defect verification. So, test planning, what is it? It's the process when you uh, are when you have the assigned task and you have some kind of uh, purpose, please test some kind of the feature. Yeah, you need to request the requirements. You need to evaluate them and you need to make your proposal about the uh, terms that you need to finish this task, about the um, test design techniques that are applicable for this purpose and so on. If you have no requirements at the test planning stage, please do not continue with the next stages because you will waste your time. Inside of the requirements, there is the core of expected result, which you will use in your test cases. If you will skip this stage and skip this information, so you won't be able to create efficient test design. And it's the, the waste of the time and the, it's actually the mess. So please do not start without requirements. The first action you want to make, you need to make at the test planning, it's to request access to the requirements. After that, the test design process. What is it? So you create all kind of the test documentation. Everything starts with the test plan. After that, we uh, create test cases, group them in test sets, and uh, create the test executions. So it means like uh, the general, the basic uh, test documentation should be created at the test design stage. Also, all of this documentation should be approved by the stakeholder. And uh, after that, you can continue to the next stage is the test, test execution. On test execution, you are running that tests that you used to create at the test design stage. And here you will have some kind of test that used to be successfully passed. So actual and expected result will be the same. And also you will have some kind of other situation when actual result won't correspond to the expected result. So it means that you will indicate a bug. You will detect some bug. So uh, here we used to uh, go to the next stage, which is the fact reporting. So when actual and expected result do not correspond, they are different, it means that we have an issue, that we have defect. So we need to create the bug report for this purpose. And inside of defect reporting, we make such action. After that, we need to escalate it. When we escalated it to the product owner, to the stakeholder, he transferred this uh, specific ticket, I mean bug report, to the proper developer, which make the fix process, we are uh, going to the next stage, which is called defect verification. So after the time when developer used to fix the uh, escalated issue, we need to verify if this issue was actually fixed completely. Yes. Also, we need to identify if uh, maybe some kind of additional issues uh, were um, added during the fix process. Maybe backward compatibility is not good for us, yes? Because some kind of features that used to exist previously, they became damaged due to our changes. So we need to think also about it. It's very important. And uh, I think that this software testing life cycle, it's the basis, it's the most important information that you need to know. And uh, it's applicable for each task that you will be assigned to. So you get the task, you follow all of these stages and it will allow you to be efficient and professional QA.